Good morning. It is uh, Monday the 2nd of August. Um, it is uh, RPG uh, a day, uh, um, day two, so I hope you're participating in that or you, you, you didn't miss it. Um, and uh, post UK Games Expo 2021, um, uh, which was a big event here in the UK gaming scene this last weekend and um, but went off very successfully. Um, so I'm basically um, catching up some of the parcels that I've had over the last week um, back out here in the Reading Nook, uh, of course with a nice little cup of tea and for the moment um, one last parcel to, um, uh, to unbox which promises me awesome things inside so I have no idea what this is, I'm going to find out Okay. Um, okay. Uh, okay. This is a Docs of um, Cass Warren a Kickstarter um, for Design Quest, a legacy game setting designed by Trinity Not Studio. This. Now, Sign Quest takes place, it's basically they've done three so far, it takes place early in the year, uh, and it basically encourages uh, creators to um, create signs and uh, fund them via Kickstarters, and it's quite popular because the fanzine has become popular once more on the back of the old school Renaissance. So essentially, it was big really in sort of like the late 70s and then into the 80s because essentially it was a vehicle for. Uh, authors and fans to create and promote their own content and then it provided a community platform now that's not so much the case these days because generally fanzines don't have letters page they just have content the letters page where you have the internet for that um, so what we've got in here let's just, just see what this is uh, you've got a um, there's a um, plan the docs and then this is um, appears to be um, essentially prompts and clues and things that work with the setting, um, and it, it basically which change over time. So you have Windrider House Two, Windrider House Three, so events and change essentially as you go along. And I presume you can take these and put out presumably because this is a legacy setting. And what's a legacy setting? Essentially, it's a setting that specifically changes according to the player's actions. Um, and that's something that, that has come out of the board game community with things like uh, Legacy Pandemic. There's three box boxes of those. And basically, um, you play through and how you play uh, and win or lose affects your next game. And how you adjust that is you put stickers on the board or on the, on the characters you control. So, you know, you, you might decimate a city or um, reduce its capacity to withstand disease or and so on. And so you have game, board games like that, including uh, so re, um, uh, the Pandemic Legacy series, the uh, Risk Legacy and so on. And each game comes with sort of like full of cards um, and things which will open when you open when particular events are triggered and you put down stickers and you adjust the board and so on and generally you can just play through the once so uh, welcome to the Docs of Cass Warren Docs of Cass Warren is a legacy sandbox setting for any fantasy role-playing game you decide the impact of the locations uh, have on the game the map remains the same but the landscape adventure landscape has just changed forever Docks of Caswaran is a complete sandbox setting that features 16 locations, each incorporated three selectable legacy story options, four factions designed to help, help build a story, a list of distinctive local names and common beverages, and a listing of our amazing backers, etc., about whom with this project wouldn't have been possible. And this is from Trinity Not Studios. So, um, let's have a look. Um, at, uh, must have been said this as a um can't remember whether I make poet just as I possibly can't remember whether I back this or not. Um 
but uh, it doesn't look like I did, so I think probably I have been sent this to review. Um, essentially, welcome to the Dogs of Kess Warren. Uh, I was this the introduction. Um, I basically introduced the TKS, the Trinity Not Studio playtest team, a couple of years ago when I wanted to experiment with an RPG that wasn't combat driven. Um, my brief was to the players was simple, you play whatever you want as long as it's a rogue. Uh, the promise of the game is straightforward, there's an upcoming festival in the city of Caswaran and a group of thieves could make an obscene amount of money. Well, the players left me with both feet and to paraphrase a particular well-known pirate, proceeded to pillage, plunder and otherwise pilfer their weaselly black guts out. And as they worked their way into the city under cover of darkness, epic stealth run through the shipyard, through the shipyard culminated in a beautiful piece of tactical carnage in the Penmar cell loft. Bodies st are still there crammed into an old chimney if you care to look. Um, and essentially, essentially that's describing um, essentially how the experience of his, the, the author's first running through of the game. Um, and then we basically go on to, we've got a nice illustration of the docks. Um, this is a fantastic piece. So essentially you could take this, um, and if you've got a location, you could literally butt the docks to it. Because it's just focusing on the docks themselves rather than the greater uh, city. Um, but, um, so detail forward as well in addition to the playtest kind of notes at the beginning and then we've got a key um, to the locations the map which I already showed you and the factions so we have the lamp lighters and the revenue uh, at, um, a beggar's guild moon, moon the moon cusses I know what the moon cusses are um, the Basically, the player characters will be bouncing off, interacting with, and hopefully, possibly, you know, turning on one each other. And then we go to um, each location. So uh, there are 16 locations. And then what's interesting is it says here select one of the three legacy text labels and stick it here. So here's the basic background, and here's the clues and stuff to run it. And you've got three stickers per location. And what that means is essentially is that you take those and stick it down and you are individualizing your copy of this book with those three stickers. So it's unlikely, essentially 16 options, uh, sorry, 16 locations, three options per location. And you know, basically the permutations are fairly wide and it's unlikely that, sorry, that, 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 that people are gonna have the same uh, locations, the same basically, um, options for each of the locations, whether that's Windrider House, Crown Inn, um, uh, basically description of uh, Crown drinks of Cass Warden, or Cass, sorry, Cass Warren, so Applejack Cider, um, Total Spirit, um, at, um, so Mudge Cartographers, and it's building the, the details, adding to it as you go through. And of course, the other option essentially is what you can do is uh, you've got one of these, you go through it, you play through it with one group, um, and essentially they create their own adventure, you create it with them using the options to stick down on each of these locations. But you go off and you go play ticket. Oh, do you want to play this with another a group? And then you don't have to, don't have to literally stick to the same ones you've already put down. You can use the others if you like. You can mix and match. You can keep the ones in here or change them as is your want. It's entirely up to you. Um, that's a clever idea. Um, I sort of, I'm, yeah, it's it's um, really kind of interesting and clever. Um, I don't know whether I, I, I kind of, um, my reaction to those things is all right. No, I don't. I don't, uh, part of me goes, oh, I don't want to mess around with that. I don't want to make this sort of like my own. I want to make the same sort of play rather than sort of sticking things like that because it's sort of like, um, I tend to be a bit of a perfectionist, but I'm sort of like, I'm almost sullying the book by adding to it, by sticking things, but that's by design. Um, and I, you can see where they're going for, what they're going for and the idea there um, is basically, is going, that thing is okay. Yes, when you run this, you always make it your own. Essentially, they're taking that and to, 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 to use a cliche, turning that up to 11. It goes up to 11, you know. Um, uh, why does it go up to 11? Well, you know, if I need to go up to, to just a bit more than 10, it goes up, yeah. Um, so uh, this has a very sort of like, um, 
late medieval, early modern period feel, whether it's the Missile Trading Company, um, or um, where are we? The Packet Office. Uh, Packet Office basically, um, basically that handles um, all the non-magical communication with the, like the packet ships. Basically, they're carrying packets and packages for other destinations. So yeah, sixteen locations, um, and then uh, whether you know, you know, basically whether it's the barracks or um, the customs and excise house, uh, which is basically a huge source of revenue for the city rulers, mark keepers, flop house, and so on, um, chandlers, uh, um, shipyards. And the like, and then we come to uh, Laity's Chop House. Basically, we're going to get a, a meal, and then we've got a, a list of common Cass Warren names. So that's the docks of Cass Warren uh, from Trinity Knot Studios. Interesting take upon the fanzine and the supplements, where you really do go the take the extra step to make it your own with the options, and it's not even a case of okay, here's a table of options. You take the option you want and you add it physically to the book. That's a clever idea. I do like that um, as a concept um, and I'm looking forward to reviewing this in due course. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this unboxing in the nook, please do click the like button down below. And uh, if you've got any comments or feedback, please do add those. I do appreciate it the time you take to do so. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the Nook, then hit that subscribe button. I again, appreciate that. That's going to be over there. Um, when you will see me with a parcel uh, and a book, which I can talk about, I talk about as knowledgeable as I can for about 10 minutes or so, and a nice hot cup of tea. And I have to say, um, this one promised awesome things inside. And I think this is... Awesome. Anyway, uh, yeah, do subscribe. Basically, me chatting, 10 minutes, cup of tea, game. In the meantime, thanks again for watching. I'll be back again in uh, very soon with another unboxing in the nook. Bye for now.